So, hi guys. The ultimate hack for a fiver, literally. Um, best thing I've ever done to the camera. And stay tuned, I'll kind of explain how it does it and I'll show you what I've done. But literally, best thing I've done, because um, there's one thing that has really wound me up about this camera for four and a bit years. The only thing that really annoys me, I mean, there's obviously a few little t things we could do with on the new version, but one thing is this. Hi guys, so I've added an eyepiece a rubberized eyepiece to the RX M4, and I wish I'd done this a long time ago. It took me a few purchases to get the right one, so I'm going to put the links um, and the type of eyepiece it is. It's £4.79, I think I paid, something like that. I have to have a double check in a sec. But you can obviously put it on left or right. I've gone for this because I'm right eyed, but if you're left eyed, you'll obviously put this bit um, the other side. And the way I did it, which I'll show you, is just stretched over the um, the actual camera's eyepiece itself. The sensor still works fine, but it's really nice to be able to put your eye, like your, your eye socket as such, up against this. So it cuts out all of the light, where unfortunately Sony, for some reason, went for this crappy design on the, on the RX10 uh, as the eyepiece. It's just very hard, very uncomfortable. And this has suddenly changed the way that I can shoot with it. So for a very, very small amount of money, the way I did it was you get this bit attached to the Canon, I think it was a Canon uh, camera, where it would normally slot over the camera like that and go click in, I'll just show it on the floor. Um, but I pulled the rubber off, it just pops off. So it allowed me to uh, get it a very tight fit. So what I did was I turned my hob on, my gas hob, um, and I just warmed it gently and stretched it until it became big enough that I could stretch it still tight. So it's not glued on at all, but it's not moved at all. Um, it sits on there lovely and it's, you know, as you can see there, it covers the, um, the diopter adjustment, but I can still adjust it quite easily with no issues whatsoever. Um, so yeah, um, another good thing is it may keep the sensor and the, the um, EVF dry when it's raining. Um, stuff like that. So I just thought I'd show you a very, very cheap upgrade. Um, and it's quite a nice soft rubber, quite pliable. Um, as you can see, the uh, the uh, diopter adjustment you can actually get in from this side if I need to. So yeah, works really well, very pleased. It feels really nice when you put it up to your eye now compared to, you know, using the A1 or the A7R4 and stuff like that. It's always, always been quite pleasant to hold the camera up. The RX-10 is one of the biggest annoyances I've ever had with the camera, um, is that. Um, but yeah, straight on. No dramas whatsoever. Um, and for that, a small amount of money. Now, I tried four or five different other ones and they just wouldn't work, they wouldn't fit. The rubber wasn't as good quality. Um, and I quite like the fact that it sinks around one side of your eye so it fits around your face quite nicely as well. So, as you can see, purchased on eBay, but you can probably buy exactly the same one from Amazon and places like that, depending on where you are around the world. Um, £4.79, so under a f under five quid. And here it is in a different angle. Uh, that's the bit you would normally clip down onto the eyepiece on the Canon EOS 1D Mark III or four or whatever. Um, you pop the rubber thing off, and like I said in the um, the video, is basically you get a hairdryer or your gas hob and just hold it above it um, until it softens very slightly. You don't need to go very hot at all because it will maybe distort it and make it worse. But just warm enough so you can stretch it a little bit and then stretch it a bit more and then keep trying it on until it's a good tight fit. It took me about two minutes in total to get it right. Obviously you can hold it one way or the other depending on if you're left eyed or right eyed or right eyed. So yeah, um, the code for it is there on the right hand side on eBay down the bottom, 194-909-889462. So if you put www.ebay.co.uk and type that number in afterwards, you will see it there. I should put a link in the um, description below, so hopefully you can just click on it and have a look anyway. Um, but personally, um, I've used it for the last few days, just snapping, and it gets rid of all the light light coming in from the right you know into your eye from the side of the camera where you can't get your eye close enough to the eyepiece without sort of it hurting because it's not exactly soft that um rx10 uh, eyepiece or the eye cup uh, and it's got rid of that uncomfortable sort of feeling which is always 
wound me up a little bit. Other than that, I love the camera. Um, and this, like I said, for £4.79 has literally changed the way I'm holding the camera up against my eye now properly. And yeah, in the, you know, if it falls off, I can put it back on, but it's not moved at all. It's just friction fit, no glue. I did wonder if I was going to have to glue it or something, but I haven't needed to whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I just had to adjust my diopter, you know, for the uh, uh, for the EVF, so it basically kept it in focus. Um, but I knocked it once, but the second time I put it back on, it didn't move. So you know, you can adjust it quite easily. Um, anyway, um, like I said, um, I actually adjusted it by putting the thing to the right and just using a cocktail stick just to, to rotate the dial, just to uh, get it back to where I sort of needed it. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. Uh, let us know if you actually buy one or if you've done it before. I've seen one other person do it. Um, I saw online, but it was a big chunky thing and it just didn't look very neat. This thing looks a little bit more like it should be there because um, it's not too big. Um, but there probably are other ones that maybe fit on there. I did try three or four different other ones which ended up in the bin because I, they just didn't work and they weren't, the rubber wasn't as good quality as this one. So Anyway, I shall leave you to it. Um, don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well. Um, any questions about the cameras that I use, feel free to ask and uh, yeah, see you soon.